it's getting better for sure. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? You really are a piece of shit. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. And that's on your ass, not mine. We've been together four years. Oh, boo -hoo. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About... Why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So, how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh god. Were you there too? Okay, okay. Avoid 
further trouble or call out Max and Bob. I think she'd be happier knowing that she'd put our lights on. Nah, okay, he's, that's it. He's lying. He's made the mistake. He's got to do the outcome. Simple as you make a mistake like that. But do the outcome. You expect my help? Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. Ha! Wait! Oh, you know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Oh, fuck off, you fat bastard. I am in. What about Mac? Am I under arrest? Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> No, oh, I'm only kidding. No, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. Hi, I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? How old is she? Do you want me to buy a drink, bitch? Let me buy a drink. What the fuck, sis? How old is she then? Oh, she's gonna be. I'm with you. I have some advice. I bet you do have some fucking advice. Right? Let's drink with a stranger. Hey, Alex. I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Hey, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> I guess I'm on break. Sounds like a good way to start. <sighs> you know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? 
Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. Not to mention, you can sure hold your liquor. <laughs> you can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Where'd the mouses get so fucking hot, Cole? You beat the shit out of that guy! What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? You made me look like a bitch! You know what I mean? You made me look like a bitch, you bitch! <laughs> oh, you're a mess now. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. <laughs> you fucking ass. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? I beat the shit out of him. I want to set the fuck out of him. Tell him about your past. Tell him about your past. 
house. I want. I would love to know more about the powers, but I know if I tell her, he ain't gonna believe. He ain't. No one's gonna believe you, no matter what. If you woke up one day and you had powers, no one's gonna fucking believe you. No. Like, that is literally how it is. That's why if I had powers, I wouldn't tell anyone. I wouldn't, because they'd be like, oh, you're chatting shit, you're fucking loopy. You get what I mean? They, they wouldn't believe you until you prove it. Let's say she, you've got powers. She's got. <laughs> how would you even try and explain that, yeah, I can hear certain individuals? Growing up in the system was hell. In my first foster home, an older boy followed me into the bathroom. So I pushed him out. He got angry. So did I. Then I broke his nose. I was 14. In the second home, one of the other kids committed suicide. And I couldn't eat for a month. After a couple of weeks in the fifth home, I got so depressed that my new parents sent me to a hospital. I never saw him again. The hurt follows me everywhere. It's the other kids get adopted, leave the system. Not me. They never picked me. I'm broken. Do you really believe that? Today I do. Socking your own brother in the jaw is one for the record books. I don't even feel it anymore. That's not the point. Look at you. You've got a home, a job, a girlfriend. You've got everything figured out. And I don't. Is that for me? It is now. What is this? A reminder. Looks like a match to me. That was the last matchbook I got when I was still in juvie. Did some pretty unsavory stuff to score it. And you still have it? Yeah. I carry it with me everywhere. When I got out, I went through the last few matches real quick, obviously, but I, I could never bring myself to use the last one. It reminded me how bad life got and how much better I was going to make it. I don't know what to say. You're welcome. When I found Haven and Charlotte, I couldn't believe they were real. Everything before was such hell. Now it's different. You can do the same. Start a new life. 
You made it out of the system, Alex. You survived. It's time to move on. Maybe you're right. I came to Haven, after all. Exactly. That's the first step. And don't forget, I'm here to help you. That's not gonna change. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, shit. You don't think... Maybe? Fuck, maybe he did. Oh. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Let's go. When that was a nice little warm into the game, I oh, shit out of bed. Where the fuck is it? Ethan? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. Should I be, I don't know, freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? And touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh, at least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid, can you imagine the shit we would have caught from dad if we'd done anything like this? Hey, we're gonna find him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Right. 
Don't worry, love. Dave will save the day. We will save the day. Cool. A murder barn. Yeah. A murder barn. Nope. 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 Super nope. Got ringing in my ear. Ow! Oh, wow. Why am I getting ringing in my ear? Oh, someone's talking about me. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Okay. Uh, Alright. Oh, they're up there. They were going to set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Yeah, that's good, actually. That kid would have been egged. How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? The real monster here is underage drinking. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. Hey, bro. Want to get wasted at the old mine? Okay. Someone's like, don't like stuff. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. There's always, look, there's always an Illuminati symbol somewhere. First it was like satanic, like, Dragon smoking, whatever it was. The herb. The dragon and his herb. Now let's go. Oh, what's this? It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. What needs to happen to it? Oh, shit. What happened here? Massive cave in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Oh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? No way. Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion. Zombie. Oh, oh, go back. Follow the blood. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. I know the way. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. So if the zombie is here, then... Ethan really followed the path in his comic. If 
finding him just became a lot more doable. There it is. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Do, 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 do. I love this. this smell looks nice. Looks nice. It sounds good. End. That is it. That's the place. It's nice to actually play a game Wait, where so I don't. I'm not screaming or on edge. Ethan? I can enjoy a Malteser. There's like a side door back there. I don't know. I guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty simple, I, I, I swear. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. So the highest part of the building? That is what he said. He always disappeared, don't know. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Okay, he went up the stairs. Jumps. Okay. Let's go up the stairs then, boy. Oh. Kind of want to push all the buttons. Also, Kind of scared to push any of the buttons. Mm. Oh. Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. <clears throat> well. Nope. Thanor doesn't battle any bed bugs. Ugh. Worse than sleeping on the ground. What's wrong with sleeping on the ground? I love sleeping on the ground. More room. So much stuff just left behind. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it was worth a shot, I guess. Ethan must have passed through some other way. Let me see what I can figure out. If Ethan didn't get out through the door, how did he get out? Well, it's pretty obvious. He went up the stairs like most people would. Oh yeah, these look safe. Well, this is where he went. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Not sure. That was far louder than it needed to be. In the nicest way, uh, you could have easily just climbed over that. Just, just saying, yeah. I, I won't be that guy, I won't. Not in the comic.
window. The silo. We're getting close. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes. Heads up! You know... Oh. <clears throat> you figured out the door! Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? No good to you with broken ankles, Ethan. How the f I have an idea. Not in the comic. Maybe not. Maybe my other idea might work. So this place was a death trap when it was operational too. Yeah, I think I think it's straight cool. up. It's, uh, well, it, in all reality, you want to get up there, why don't you just climb up there and then just kind of jump and grab onto that and climb up, you know. As you know, a child's life is at risk. But, no, no, I won't touch it, I won't touch it. Wasn't in the comic. <clears throat> okay, I'll stay out. But not because you told me to. Too much chalky balls. There's got to be... What is this? Wasn't in the comic. I gathered what... Hi, scary old building. Please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. We shall have more tutor. It's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? Wait. I don't get... How there's so many ways you can get to there, but no, just really. Kind of want to push all the buttons. No. Also, kind of scared to push any of the buttons. I right, gotta go back upstairs. Let's have a look and see if it's where the wait. It's not there. Well, I've gotta go. I've gotta get up here. Maybe I've got to climb the Garen. <laughs> oh no. We passed caution like an hour ago. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, well, we can't go the way he wants us to go. Do we go into this? Uh, no, okay. I mean, in the nicest way, there's a lot of ways I could get on there in real life, but ayo. Not in the comic. At this point, are we going along the comic? Because you're not jumping over the gap. The window. The silo. We're getting close.
Are you really just stood there? Like, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a door, it's a door, it's a... Definitely a door, right, okay. Let's go down to him, because maybe I have to go out there. If I have... Oh, yeah. I literally have just opened the door to the other side. Why is my brain not working? Why? Sorry, guys. I had a little... Little... Little Dave moment. Hello, Ryan! Ryan seems like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Does he now? What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? I reckon I've got to go up there. This kid's getting a bollocking when he gets home. Mommy! Mommy be like, get your ass! Fainor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. What's the room? He wasn't even there. He's going in. Oh, yeah, he says he's going into the caves or whatever it is. So, if I did this, I think my parents would kill me. They would. My ass would be red raw back when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. We're close. Think so. Ethan. 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 I'm coming for you, buddy. Hold on. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it, it's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that look of love. Alex. Uh, are you sure? Someone's gotta get a kid. You can't leave the kid there, can ya? I taught you how to anchor a belay. Awesome. Show me. You okay? Doesn't matter. I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. No, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, 
Can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. I like cake. Oh, wait, me? Right. Well, obviously. You oh. got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! I'm not gonna get hurt, and neither are you. If it didn't run here, kid. Oh, for what happened? Shut up. Hey, Ethan. I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here. I was so stupid. Okay, hey, hey focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. It's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. I'm not gonna let you fall, okay? Did you see me coming down this log? I'm super balanced. No, 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 no. I can hear it down there. Hear what? Doesn't matter. Just gotta get him out of here. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. Are you gonna go run up to this kid and punch this kid in the face like you did with the last guy? That's what I'm worried about. I can do this. Okay. 
He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of... See me. Can't let it see me. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like Knife Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. Headed back. Keep tight on the blanket. <laughs> Not over yet. Oh god. Okay. One step at a time. Yeah, buddy. I'm still really scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Shut up, kid. Do you think the log will break? Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break. Our emotions are connected. I need to keep him calm. You're not even... Move! You can move quick and not go on! Oh! No, 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 no! Come on, you're there! You're right there! Just jump for it, you'll make it!
What the fuck? Nah.